Hey everybody, Linda here. This is the Glitchy Gamer Podcast, the podcast that glitches onto the channel every now and then. I got two buddies with me, Phil Twerpin. What's up? What's up? What's up? What is up, everybody? And I got Charles, a.k.a. Spirit. Well, hello there, kitties. And we're going to talk about time. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. How? Oh, there it yeah, is. Yeah. I was wondering what the hell was going to happen, bro. I was saving <laughs> it for a rainy day. Okay, cool. But uh, yeah, we're going to talk about this game that has been hitting the waves. I've seen almost every single person who started the game has beaten it. And not only that, it's supposed to be a classic, so... We're going to start with the pros and then work our ways to, which I feel like is only a few nitpicks. So we'll start with, did you like the game, Phil? Me, personally, I think the game is freaking awesome. Like, honestly, controls perfectly. I'm a big fan of, like, the characteristics, you know, sprites, all the way down to their voices, like, literally. If you listen to like Ram's voice, it's like literally like the 1987's Ram's voice. If you actually like saw the cartoon, I was a big fan of it, even to like the smaller parts, like the Easter eggs. Um, just the fulfillment of just making collisions with like the foot soldiers, it was just satisfying. It was just all satisfying all the way from the beginning to the end for me. Nice. Spirit, did you like the game? Well, Calamanga Deeds! I love the game. And honestly, with the way the game was developed by the same developers of Streets of Rage 4, a lot of fans really, really wanted a good beat em up to complement Streets of Rage 4, and I feel like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge gave us that. Yeah, man, I agree. I like the game as well. I I was a little scared, to be honest, when I heard that it was going to be the same team that did Streets Rage 4. The sprites on that game were a little weird to me, the art style. I was like, what are they going to do to this game? I, I was really worried, because I was like, damn, here we go. Shit's going to hit the fan, because sometimes when they do remakes, you all know this, that it just comes out a hot mess. And I'm like, oh, yeah. great, you know. So I, I like it, and I do like that um, we get April. We could play April for the first time, and Splinter. I, I didn't yeah. know they were going to throw that in there. I thought it was just going to be, you know, the re the original four and mm. Mr. Hockey Mask himself, you know? <laughs> Casey. Casey I Jones. I was waiting. I was waiting. I was like, what is the list? What is the list? And then when they announced it, I was like, oh, dude, we get to finally play as April and not, you know, it, like, we got the jumpsuit April. I was like, I was like, oh, they're gonna change her outfit. They're gonna make her modernized. But no, they they kept it the same jumpsuit. Not gonna worry about like anything else now. They got then they she gave she got a microphone too. I was like, dude, what's she gonna do with this microphone in her hand? But okay. So I, I liked it. Hello. What? My name is April O'Neil, and I'm going to beat your butt with a microphone. Bop. Yeah. <laughs> And I do like that they let you unlock Casey, you know. I was like, yeah. oh, where's the hockey mask? Yeah. Like, where's my hockey mask, man? And then, you know, yeah. once I beat the game, I was like, oh, cool, you got unlockables. I'm like, now I'm like, I want to play it again and again and again to find out how many other unlockables. Can we unlock the other four turtles? Can we unlock, you know, the toads? Can we do other stuff? Like, what are we going to find in the hidden characters or even a bonus? When I found that first hidden character, I was like, oh, cool. What else is there hidden? And so that, I started breaking everything. And that's what I definitely liked about it, like finding like the little character Easter eggs, like the uh, the three aliens, the neutrinos, like that was like really big for me. Um, the boss from Channel Six, I just liked how they uh, did that. Um, and I was also thinking like the same guys that did make um, Streets Rage Four had to been definitely inspired. They must have played that uh. You know that uh, Turtles Retro Palooza that supposed to came out some time ago or oh, whatever? Oh, yeah. They, it does kind of remind me a little bit of that. Yeah, as far as, like, uh, April Sprite, she looks like she's grown, but she kind of, like, got that little small, like, cutesy 
TV, if I could use it, sort of like, you know, like Sprite, along with like Splint also, too. Yeah, like they're a little bit younger than they were in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for me, guys, when I'm playing Shredder's Revenge, I get the vibe of the old NES version of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game mixed yeah. with a little bit of Teenage Mutant Ner- Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time because of the throwing graphic of throwing a foot soldier in your face type deal. Yeah. And I feel like that's the love child that basically this game is giving us also. <laughs> Yeah, they just threw that back up with a modernized uh, mechanic. Yeah, the background yeah, but was like beautiful. I said, like, I love the background. But, but like yeah. I said, I I felt like we got a love child between an NES classic and, like, a Super Nintendo classic combined and modernized in this game today. Yeah, I, I they agree. A, they literally had a prom night baby with it. Yeah. <laughs> hey Phil, that's not nice now. Come on. <laughs> but like... a bundle of joy came out of it. Yeah, I, yeah. I like that. that. That's a good part. Like and, and I also like that you got references of all the character bosses from all the games. It wasn't just like the original and Turtles in Time. You got some bosses from other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. I was like, dude, yeah. they threw every single character you could think of in there. Exactly. Every but he, it was like every all of them was actually like toy toy uh, creations also too all of them. Mm-hmm. But I did happen to notice that there was this is just me, but I don't feel like we got Doctor uh, Baxter Stockman. No, I don't. You did. Him. You oh, did. we did. Yeah, you fought him. Oh, was all he, right. He was at the end, right? Um, he was like in a later part. Like yeah. in the later uh, episode, yeah, you fought Baxter. Oh yeah. All right. Well, the, the one thing that also I, I liked was they had side stuff, side missions. If you wanted to play, oh, them. Yeah. they weren't part of the the main character game storyline. Yeah. And I liked that. Once you located them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. I liked it because it gave you something to do. Like again, replay value. Like I love mm-hmm. games that. You can play the main storyline, get the first feel of it, and then go back and be like, okay, now I can see all the side stuff. What is this? Find out what's going on with that part. Get all the collectibles. And you, you can play another yep. couple hours of this game and not feel like you, you uh, wasted your money. They have, like, mission within mission. Like, uh, for instance, like, um, on the first level, it might tell you, and, I've, and I still have yet to do this one, you have to beat the first level without being touched. <laughs> yeah i'm like good good luck with that one yeah um but meanwhile in that level it's probably like um get like a uh a max hit combo of like 240 hits but that's easy that's actually easy to do that's just like just kill a bunch of foot soldiers and don't get hit but i yeah. just don't know i just don't know about not getting hit for the whole level that's kind of hard yeah, we can, mm. we can go into the, the negatives. Yeah, I, I kind of hated that, too. I thought that should have been, like, an extra bonus for, like, a harder difficulty. Like, if you're on standard mm-hmm. difficulty, it should have been, oh, just uh, get the combos, do something, find all the hidden characters, and then if you went into the next difficulty, then it was don't get hit by every single person. Like, that could have yeah, been another right. challenge. Because if, if you put it on every difficulty, then you're not going to make it a challenge. The people who exactly. are playing hard or the, the highest difficulty are not going to feel like that was a challenge because the people that are on standard difficulty can get it. So why is this even a challenge for me? Because everybody's exactly. going to get a different difficulty and they're going to feel like they got that achievement that I got. It shouldn't even be an option on easy. Yeah. If, if, you have, if you have that difficulty, you should not get that challenge of don't get hit because you're not going to get hit. You can you can play that yeah. that level and be okay, and you can also do the the power up. You know the charge thing. That charge thing. I don't know. That's a little. You can abuse that. The once I figured because I started playing that, like halfway through the game, I didn't even realize that was an option because I I was playing it without watching anybody. I played a few levels, and then all of a sudden I saw everybody doing this like taunts. I'm like, what is that? Oh, that's a charge. I, yeah, I call that taunt. If you play Street, uh, if you ever played Street Fighter, you know about uh Dan Habiki, right? Yeah. 
you know he has a move of a taunt. If you let him complete his taunt, he gets super powerful. Yeah, he can he can hit you with a finishing move. He can, you could be done. Yeah. Yeah. Finish him. Mm-hmm. All you gotta do is just once you wipe out a few uh foot soldiers, this is only uh this only working for uh story mode for the best result. You know as you level up your turtle, you can, you know, get more uh more numbers for your uh for your spirit meter. Yeah. So I think they should you cap can it. Just, if you if you earn it normally, which you could if you just attack the the cre- the the guys, the foot soldiers. Yeah. You get you then you could you unlimited. Ta- but if you start doing the taunt, I feel like they should cap it and not give you unlimited, you know, whatever you want to get. After you probably get your first meet a taunt to stop work. Yeah, like a couple, like you get like 3. And then after that in the level if you if you don't earn it normally, then you you don't, that's it. You're done. You're capped. No, yeah. I, I could see the easiest level. Give it to them because they're just wanting to learn the game, or they're not good at beat 'em ups. Okay, give it to them. Let them do the 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 taunt as long as they want. But yeah, like that that just that makes the the highest difficulty easy because you literally can just keep doing yeah. the the taunt over and over again in the corner and get like three or four of them and then just keep rebuilding it over and over, and then you're just like you're done. The boss is done. You just stand in the corner, let the boss do its little whatever pattern, and then you just keep building it up and then be done. Exactly. Well, I I, I got a thought that just crept into my head, Linda. Okay. Uh-oh. And it's dating back to the Streets of Rage 3 game compared to this game. You remember... In that game, you had this thing where it had like the lines built up, and then when it was okay, and you could trigger your special move that way. Oh, yeah, that's been, a special and three. Move, uh, yeah, I kind yeah. of vaguely if, remember. It's been a while. What if? Blue. Okay, but the it was the blue little line things that went up, and then when it hit okay, you could hit your special that way. With that, though. Yeah. If you let that, you you know you can, uh, if you normally did your moves with that, uh, with just pressing like the A button, it would take energy. But if you use the A button when that ball was full, you can still use your, uh, you can still use your move, but you won't be penalized by losing any health. Yeah, Phil, Phil gets where I'm winning with this. Why couldn't we have that in Shredder's Revenge also? But that's because it's, yeah. the team that made three didn't make four. Well, yeah. three and four could have talked and been like, you know what? Here's what we liked in three. We're going to carry to four. What we didn't like in three, we didn't carry over to four. Stuff like that. But That's why you see the whole overhaul. But you also got to remember that everybody's trying to modernize games to make them easier. We're, get, we're getting to that yeah, okay. point where every single game is easier. Every single and that was another thing that irritated me. I'm playing and all of a sudden it gives me an extra life without asking me. I'm like, dude, so you're basically saying I suck, so I have to I need help. <laughs> give give You me get a, a life help. every two every two hundred foot soldiers you kill, but it's so many foot soldiers popping up on a screen at once two hundred will fly by quick. Yeah. Right. I, I literally was like, I'm like, dude, when did I get six lives? Why am I six lives? Whoa. Exactly. <laughs> when you well, when you walk from scene to scene, it's foot soldiers. When you're fighting bosses, it's some sort of foot soldier. Yeah. It's just foot soldiers everywhere. And then little mini monsters. Throw kill Rodney's everywhere. Mouses everywhere. They try yeah. to give you everything. They just throw everything at you. Yeah. Uh, and that's another thing. I'm like, there should be an option, like in the settings, if you want to turn that off. Like, I don't want extra help. Let me beat the game how it's supposed to be intended. Like, an original mode yeah. or, like, a modern mode. Because they do that for, like, even for Street Fighter now. They're going to do an original mode, a classic mode, and then they're going to do a modern mode. So if you don't want to do half circle, A, B, A, whatever your, the combo is, you could just do back, A. Hold, yep. charge, yep. back, A. And I'm like, okay, see? We got, we got people who want to do modern and people who want to do classic. They give you the option. That's true. And I wish they did that for this game. A little bit. Come on, man. I like you, but come on. Make it tough. Yeah. I I, I don't like to breeze through games that easy. I don't want to be breezing through it and be like, oh, I beat it? Dude, what? (laughs) Now let's make it harder. Let's go to this difficulty. 
and I and I get that. I'm like, I I know you you want to have everybody happy about the game, but there is options. You, just like in any game back in the day, they had easy, normal, and hardcore or extreme or whatever they wanted to call it back in the '90s. And that was yeah. that's how you started. You started on normal, and then you worked your way up to whatever the next difficulty was. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I want to also bring to light the musical selections or stuff like that. I wonder if they talked to uh, Vanilla Ice to see if he'd allow for the uh, ninja rap. Oh, they did. If if they have anything that they want to bring back, they have to talk to the original people who own the song and anybody who worked on it because they don't want a legal battle. They want, well, they want their royalties, damn it. Yep. <laughs> How, I, I get that they want the royalties and all that, but like I was going to say is when I played this game, the soundtrack for it is amazing. Don't get me wrong, but I still yeah. want that vibe of the ninja rap. I'm sorry. Well, I'm surprised that, right. you know, like Vanilla didn't want that money. I was waiting. I was right. like, oh, we're going to get something from that. But hey, it's, it's in the movies, oh. so... I I didn't expect it to be in the game. I was expecting it to be like a new take on all the game soundtracks, and that's what we got. Like, would you say right. a more modern, updated version of Ninja Rap? Maybe. I don't know. That's kind of hard to do because it, it had that flow that was kind of hard to change up. Because how can you change right. up Ninja Ninja Rap? That, that part you have to keep the same because other people are going to be like, yeah. what the hell is that? Yeah, ain't nobody going to be trying to hear no remix. Yeah, like I, I've heard remixes where they're like, this is the remix. This is the remix. I'm what? like, when is the remix going to start? Just because the first one did good, you want to do it, you want to make some bullshit the second time? No. Yeah, yeah. I hate that. I, I, don't, I don't mind when you modernize something just going to irritate me a little bit, but when you take a completely old version and just, like, slap it with some new stuff and call it, like, hey, this is brand new, it's like, no, it's literally the same song. You just took, like, a sample and changed it up and added some stupid crap to it that I don't like. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad they kind of didn't mess with that song. You giving kudos to Vanilla Ice. Kudos to them giving Wu-Tang money. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, Shredder's boss, Shredder's boss music got Ghostface and Raekwon rapping on it. Oh yeah, I heard that. I was like, damn. Like, yeah, that's yeah, that's real sick. Like, wow. Yeah, I can't wait to get my soundtrack, man. I'm gonna be bumping that. <laughs> yeah. Bum 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 it's, it's, bum 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 bum. It's really good. Oh it's hell yeah. Really good. And then the uh, oh, so. Okay, no, go ahead. Go, no, go, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. So, during the midst of my glory and having so much fun, I went and told a nearby friend that I beat it. And I said, hey, you want to play this together? He like, yo, do you have it on Switch? My face hit the ground. Which yep. is another thing. I'm like, oh, man, what is the deal with the guy that going to cosplay people? Yeah, I got it on Switch, too. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't know. See? See? That's, a, that's another thing yeah. I was excited for when... The game was first announced was all the cross play uh, compatibilities with Switch, PS4, PS5, and all that. And I felt like with all that, I have to ask this simple question. Is there any differences from the PS4 version, which I know you have, Phil, compared to Linda, you and your Switch version? Well, I can answer that, no. Uh, I have it on Xbox Game Pass, and I played it, and I saw Phil play it, and there's literally nothing different other than the bu buttons, the maps, and stuff like that. That's it. Um, I've had, well, yeah, the gameplay is completely the same. The only difference is, like, sometimes when I played online, it had, like, this thing um, that would happen. Everybody is calling it, like, ghost mode now. Like, we'll beat a level with me and, like, a couple of friends, and then the next level they'll probably be all playing and see see everybody going and they'll be like, yo, why are you sitting still? Meanwhile, I'm looking at my screen and I hear people fighting, but I don't see nothing. That That is definitely an error. 
like they probably realized like uh that they had too many people on there and they couldn't fix it so it's probably internet connection or something like that that's probably what it is because if you're doing something and something else is somebody else is doing a completely different thing and you're and you connect randomly at the last second that's usually the internet yeah. speeds are different and they should have like uh, an option to like it to auto fix itself so hopefully they fix that in a yeah. patch but other than that the story is the same you literally i was watching you play phil and uh, the game the game is the same on xbox nothing's different the only thing is maybe a little bit nope. better sprites is uh, cuz you had the ps4 version a little bit better mm-hmm. background sprites that's it like it's a little bit more crisp yeah. Okay, so one thing I don't like is how they gave Mikey only one weapon. Why? <laughs> yeah. Why? Yeah, Why that is that? insane. The only thing I've known Michelangelo to ever have is those nunchucks. Yeah, and he had two. And the only time he ever had one is if he got into a fight and somebody knocked one out. And then you go get yeah. it later on. Why you know, in the that? later uh, cartoon. The later cartoons, I guess they must have had a dispute about him having nunchucks, and then they switched them over, and he had like that little, uh, like that little turtle rope. Yeah, because in some countries, nunchucks are not allowed. Especially Europe. Yep. So I I, I get that thing. part, Bam. but just like just give the the other world, the rest of the world, nunchucks, and then give that one person that country. A little bit of difference. I get, you know, it takes forever to animate something, but that is annoying. I'm like, dude, come yeah. on, man. You, 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 you do, real, do you guys they also realize with the Japanese culture, uh, Leonardo's uh, katanas? Yeah. Those get switched out also. Wow. I didn't know that, really. You didn't know that? Well, yeah. how, how they switch them out? What do they do to them? Uh, from what I have read and I have seen, they switch out his katana swords for like Donatello's stick. Really? Yeah. What the hell? Oh, so he basically just got two. Oh, okay. I know what they do. Okay. So they just got you see what I'm saying? sticks. Dang, man. I didn't know that. You guys wow. didn't know that at all? Well, no, because I only saw the version with the swords. Every every version I've ever seen was just with swords. But yeah, what's I'm also weird TV is... And watch them on TV. Yeah. Yeah. But here's what's also weird. With them switching Leonardo Leonardo's uh, katanas out for Donnie's stick, you don't actually don't get to see Donatello at all. It only sticks to the original three of Mikey, Raphael, and Leonardo. Well, that's always been like that. In most of the shows for over there, they it's like three heroes, not five, not four. Like they do three heroes, and I don't know why. I I'm not in that that scene to know very much about it. But if you do know in the comments, let us know so we can find out why. Yeah. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, but I do believe they switch out Leonardo's katanas for Donatello's stick. And I do believe also they switch out Raphael's, uh, uh, I forget what he uses as a weapon. Uh, it's like it's, it's, uh, or size, whatever. I think, yeah. They switch those out and they actually give Raphael Mikey's nunchucks. Oh, that's random. That's pretty cool. Oh, I I, I'm going to have to go find that now. I want to go see what that is all about. Yeah. I, I do believe. Uh, I was going to ask this before. Do you guys believe that there will be other updates to this game where, let's say, take Casey, for instance, where in a later update, he actually loses the hockey mask and, like, one of his like hockey sticks for something more modern, like a I don't know, just something more modernized. Or do you think they'll keep him with his hockey mask and hockey stick? They might do some DLC. 
we might get something later yeah. on. I, I, I highly doubt they're going to keep it where it's just going to be the same old, same old. They're going to probably add some costumes for replay value. Like, you, you, so you're not yep. bored. You know, you might get some, like, oh, the, here's a 2000 costume from whatever era they want. They could probably add it. But I think it, legally right now they were just trying to get the game out. And they probably didn't yep. want to deal with all the hot mess of trying to get the legal team to get every single Turtles available and every version of Casey and April and Splinter and Shredder mm -hmm. and all the bosses. Because you got to remember, you have to go to every single company that owns that one and be like, hey, yo, yep. can I get that? Okay, $1 million. So they probably had a budget and they're probably like, okay, let's just stick with this version. And then later on, they're probably going to update something later on and say here here's a nice little package of here's the version of this here's a version of that so we might see some updates or they just might make a new game all entirely we might get a second one where it's this version from like this era so like a sequel then yeah i'm thinking, of, I'm thinking a sequel or or just like one update like one dlc pack and that's it and then you get this sequel i'm just throwing it out there if they manage to make like a sequel That'd be cool. I'm down for skins, but if they make a new game, I'm kind of leaning towards uh Yusagi Ujimbo. Oh, okay. Why? That'd be that'd be dope. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. You know what I would like to see? Some characters from the What's movies. That? Some oh, that'd characters be awesome. of the movies that we didn't we didn't get for the game. And just like throw them in there in the mix, and then that could be the version. Like we get like a hey. movie version. Hey, Linda, why don't why don't we just say give us Kino or give us Liberty? <laughs> <laughs> Make a T-shirt out of that. <laughs> we want Kino, man. Kino was awesome in Secret of the Ooze. You gotta admit. Yeah, he was. He was dope. I liked. He was so cool. That that guy was just all over the place in the nineties. I liked it. I just seen him everywhere in every single movie you could think of. I was like, dude, yeah. he's there again. Surf ninjas. All this stuff. Like, I was just down it, for any movie he was in. <laughs> what's Fight what's weird turtles. to me what's weird to me is in the arcade game for the NES, you get this wolf type enemy in the frost level, but you never see him ever again. Where is that guy at? <laughs> He was completely non-canon to everybody. He was just made specifically for the NES version. I think back in the day, they used to just make boss characters if something didn't work out, just to have it there as a filler. Like, maybe, like, uh, the stipulation from the team was you have to make so many boss levels, and they're like, oh, crap, we didn't think about that, or they probably just threw them in there just to have them there as, like, a filler. Because there's a lot of times they've done that yeah. in the past where they just randomly threw a boss in there, and you're like, who's this guy? Why is this person here? Or whatever is going on. And you yeah, found out later he... on the team was like, we were just crunched for time. We couldn't get this other character to work. We just threw him in there. Like, huh, take this. It, Ta -da. You like it? No. It also, leads to, it also leads to another question for me is, we all know in the movies, this the newer version of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. Oh, man. Ugh, yeah. Bebop or Rocksteady was voiced by WWE wrestler Sheamus. How come... Mm -hmm. they, Anyone? Yeah. Why couldn't Sheamus take some time off to do some voice acting for this game? Probably the money. Because he wasn't around. Probably the money as well. Oh, he was free. Phil, come on. He was free. No, I'm saying money. Free, 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 free. Money. The old rock steady. The old rock steady wasn't didn't have a uh, Scottish accent. Hey, hey, man, and that's be beep up. I know <laughs> that was funny, but I think it was just money wise. They probably had a budget and they probably had to stick to it, and he probably wanted too much money, or they probably thought we're gonna stick with the old classic style, and they mm. probably. Who's to say they didn't ask a couple people? Like they did a like a survey, a poll, or they had a play test, and they're like, "What would you like from this?" Or or they asked the team, like, "What do you think about the old Turtles in Time? What do you think about the original games? What do you think about this? What do you think about that? Should we add this?" They they probably had all this discussion that we did, and we're like, 
Nope. Mm -hmm. No Scottish accent. Hey. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> you can't take the game uh, seriously again. when he's yelling that. <laughs> Uh, that's what it was. Another thing I want to ask you all is this. Do you think when I was playing this game at the end with Shredder, wouldn't it have been interesting instead of giving you two Shredders, having it be one massive super Shredder as a final boss? So you're saying like a mini boss right before and you think you beat him and then he's like, nope. And then he transforms into the second level. Yeah. Just like how all the shredders always do. Yeah. Well, except for Turtles in Time. Yeah. No, yeah. Turtles in yeah, Time was just, you just battled him and then it was like multiple shredders. Yeah. No, you beat him. Yeah. You will have to fight. Yeah. Wait, you fought Shredder at the beginning. Yeah. And then. Yeah. Like, I want to. Spring and then Shredder came back that last time. Yeah. Yeah, it was Honestly, like, it was like oh, I, I wanted a super, I wanted a super shredder, guys. I know, like I, but the thing yeah, is, I well, think that's why they they didn't have the ooze though. Like, there's no reference to the ooze. Like, not um, really. It, no, it really wasn't. It was just like, ta da, shredder got some ooze. Here we go again. Yeah, like all of a sudden he's like, the boss battle is is this, and you're like, oh, he just transformed into the super shredder. How did that happen? Oh, okay. Game logic. We don't question game logic. Haven't seen Shredder none this goddamn game, but he is. <laughs> Ain't playing nothing. I've yeah. been running around chasing Crane Body for about what is sixteen episodes. Yeah, Full like alert. literally, you I'm... find you find every piece of the of the puzzle <laughs> in the brain. And voila, ah, you found a, you found it all out. I was like, that was a little corny to me, too. Yeah, I was like, why is... Because I didn't mind, you know, finding a couple pieces. I thought that was hilarious. I was like, oh, they're referencing him. Cool. And then all of a sudden, they're like, now here's the other piece. Okay. Now here's the other piece. Okay. So when are we going to... Uh, oh, we're going to keep finding all the pieces. Cool. And then and then you, you battle him, and you're like, oh, that was it? <laughs> I thought it was going to be something really wild. I'm in. I'm scratching my head like, what on earth did Shredder had to do with this? <laughs> it it kind of reminds me of the, like, oh, we forgot about Shredder. Oh, crap. It, well, That's exactly what happened. You know, I got to thinking about this. We also didn't get uh, Shredder's little foot clan leader guy oh, yeah. from the movie. Well, that, but that's the movie, though. And, but I'm just He's saying, he could have also been a lead-up boss before you got to Shredder also. That could be the sequel. Because in the yeah, movie, you had, you had uh, the foot soldiers, they got really pissed off. And they started, like, rebelling and starting, like, doing extra shit in the world. So that could have been it. It was, it was a bunch was of cigarette-smoking teenagers. They was going to rebel anyway. Yeah, but yeah. I'm saying, like, you didn't know that when you first started fighting them. So you, you like see them in their said, outfits, yeah. What was his name? Anybody know exactly? Oh, I have no idea, bro. Tetsu. Oh, really? Tetsu? Tetsu. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Phil. He was a boss in Turtles in Time. Yeah, but I, I haven't played Turtles in Time in a little bit. And I, you just go into autopilot. You're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we good. We good. We good. We yeah. good. So, any final <laughs> thoughts, Phil? Um, Other than it being too easy... Uh, I would like to see uh, a new sequel. Um, nah, I have not a. So, how how would you rate the game? Oh, I'd give that a solid eight and a half. Okay. Solid. Spirit, any final thoughts? Well, after having this discussion and realizing a lot of characters are still missing, I. I agree with Phil. I I do want a sequel, uh, like Shredder's Revenge Two or Teenage Mutant Super Shredder, whatever. I don't care. But overall, I'll give it a solid eight pizzas out of ten pizzas. Got a bucket, dude. <laughs> okay. And one last thought I want to give is. Mm -hmm. Please, developers of this game, go talk 
to Rob Van Winkle, aka Vanilla Ice, and give us the the Turtle Rap, the Ninja Turtle Ooh, Rap. I care about Vanilla Ninja. Ice, man. <laughs> hey, that man needs to get paid somehow. We all know he's he's doing hit, he's doing hard fine, bro. He's got his this house modeling remodeling thing going on. He's good. He's he's he needs the money. We we need turtle rap. I'm sorry. We need turtle you rap, need but he money. don't need the money. He, he's paid. He's paid. I need the yeah. money. Pay me. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, solid eight pizzas out of ten pizzas. If we're going on that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I agree. I uh I feel like there was some stuff that they could have added, and. I I love the the whole vibe of the game. I love the references, all the stuff from the earlier games that we got. And I do wish that there was some more one-liners in the game that we we could have yeah. seen or heard, you know. That would have been dope because it Turtles games were cheesy. I loved them, but I I want more cheese factor if we do the second game. And uh yeah, I give it an an, an 8 out of 10. It was a solid game. I liked it. There was only a few nitpicks that I had. So, thank you everybody for listening to the podcast. Thank you, Phil, for chilling with me. Thank you, Spirit, for chilling with me. No problem. No problem. Oh, I had one other thing. Y'all notice no Pizza Hut advertisements in this game? We got it at the in the collector's edition. A little pizza slip. But, like, Every scene is like Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut. <laughs> I wonder what they would eat now. Domino's. Um, <laughs> little Caesars? Domino's. No. Domino's. I'm one of those little cut rate, like New York pizza, something like uh, that. Oh, like Mom and Pop shop. Pizza Joe's? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, we're going to end it, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Keep on gaming. Play this one. Oh my God. Peace, everybody. Yeah. Linda, the real deal. Gamer gal. Give her the crown right now. She's royale. PC, PlayStation, Xbox. Her chat's lit stream definitely rocks. Nintendo Switch way back to arcades. Jump on the Oregon Trail and join the raid. Dungeons and Dragons reviews and interviews. This gaming channel puts you in a good mood. Great content like all her funny skits. Homegirl shopping network and the Gamer Girl Kid. Raspberry Pi to OG hardware. Linda's playing games everywhere. Linda the Gamer Gal.